Hey people, how are we doing today? Today I thought I would do a little bit of a TV movie review. The TV movie came out in 2001. It was a proposed TV series called a pilot. Now this pilot didn't make it, although we do have an absolutely fabulous, fabulous TV movie in its wake. And if you can find this movie, do it. It is good enough to watch. And you'll love it. Legend tells of a group of dark angels known as Shadow Men who have walked the earth since time began. They have preyed upon mankind throughout eternity from the first blood shed in vain through broken treaties, tyrannical oppression, even world wars. They have been involved in every act of hate, but there's a price they pay for free reign over the world, eternal imprisonment. The world is their jail. After millennia, the earth on earth, their sole desire is to escape. But there's only one way out for them, the total destruction of a world. Guided by their leader, Slate, a dark angel so powerful that all others yield to him, they have tempted world leaders into poisoning the atmosphere pursuing ethnic cleansing, and even to the brink of global thermal nuclear war, all in an attempt to end their captivity. But a greater threat now exists. Slate has located one half of a stone tablet, an ancient relic of terrible power. With a complete tablet, the Shadow Men could create an energy vortex with the force of 10,000 suns, shattering the world and freeing them from bondage. The only thing standing between them and the end of life on Earth are four warriors, selected before birth to fight in the defense of the world, trained by Oz, also, a, also once a Shadow Man himself, and the guardian of the tablet's other half. These four warriors are the best and only hope for humanity. Like I said, this is from 2001, and it starred... Billy Zane as Oz, Byron Mann, Michael Fu, Stacey Overser, Serena Blue, Tori Kittles, Ray Jackson, Dominique Purcell, Keith Grady, and David Field as Slate. This movie is extremely innovative and action-packed for television. Even though it had some empty scenes and the female character wasn't much of an actress, they covered it up with cool special effects and fantastic Jet Li action kung fu. Even though Jack Jet Li wasn't in it, he produced it along with Mel Gibson. I highly recommend this movie if you are a kung fu fan. And if you're not, watch it because it's still good. It's hard to find, but it's definitely worth it. Well, if you liked what you saw today, give me a thumbs up. And comment. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what you didn't like. And if you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Tumblr, and now on Instagram. And if you really want to write me a letter, I will respond if you'll send a self-addressed stomped envelope. You send it to Kenny Davenport, P.O. Box 198, Crossville, Tennessee. Three eight five five seven. The address will be in my banner somewhere. And until next time, have a totally groovy day. Bye.